qualifier. They're under start of orders, they've got the lead and heat one is away. So the left from Jimmy Young leads them away in 106 as they head off down to the first turn. Jim Smith's on to the infield in 139. Neil Smith in 507 has tagged on at the back of the pack and the lead cars are down on that turnstile bend. Here they come into the home straight and it's veteran Jimmy Young who leads them through in 106. From 207 William Yarrow we've got a three car tangle at the end of the back straight. Terry Forster and Richard Dobson in trouble. Mel Brown, a couple more tangled outs of uh, Matthew Bennett and Roger Warns and two more even then in trouble. The lead cars are down that back straight again, and there's one Hunter number 20 climbing all over uh, Mark Armitage 123. Andy Clark's blown the back tyre 169, and he's on to the infield. And Jimmy Young is clearing 106 from Steve Rag in 78. One Hunter goes to third in number 20 from John Wright, fourth in 128. 87, Neil Brick juggling with the barrel all down the home straight on the front bumper. He shoves that barrel aside as he goes to the pit turn. Now Warren Hunter's plowed in with Steve Lagg down on that turnstile bend parking lot. We've got eight cars in the heat down there at the moment. William Yarrow's parked up on the home straight and Neil Briggs joined them now in 87. And we've got a virtual trap blockage down there as they come and go and uh, Jimmy Young's climbing over the barrel as he goes to that bend in 106. Now 128, John Wright looking for a gap around the outside. There just isn't one. And we're now looking for a new leader, first and second have gone together, it's Rob Ransell in the lead in 265. From Ian Higgins who goes through second in 29, with Wade Tilsley third in 85. Fourth is 156, Graham Blundell. And that's the top four together down the back straight this time. Once again into that turnstile bend and uh, Rob Ransell making short sure work of that bend in 265 as he comes back to the home straight. Being chased by Ian Higgins in 29. And then comes Red Sills the 85 and Graham Blundell in 156. John Wright uh, just looking for a place to rejoin in 128. Rob Ratzel the leader 265, Ian Higgins second in 29 and Red Sills the third in 85. One or two of the drivers then seem to realise that the track is now clear down on the turnstile bends. Well, it was. Neil Smith and uh, Mark Armitage and Mal Brown tried to block it again. So things settling down. Neil Smith finding a way around on the middle in 5.07. And the leader is Rob Bratzel in 2.65. Ian Higgins is second in 29. And Ray Tilsley third in 85. It will be halfway next time. And the lead car down to that turnstile bend once again. And coming around that bend back to the home at the halfway stage, the leader is Rob Latzel in 265. Second is 29, Ian Higgins, and third, 85, Ray Tilsley. Running fourth is 156, Graham Blundell in fifth place. It looks as though he could be Neil Brigg in 87. We're checking back further on down the line behind him to 129 and John Riley 128. Number 21, Hunter not going much further, he's got a flat tyre. But Ian Higgins still doing his best to uh, get rid of race leader Rob Ransall. Rob Ransall still holding on to that lead and down towards the turnstile bend again he goes. The bumper goes in as Higgins chases him into that bend. And Ransall leads him through and out of that bend. They're through again and they've got five to run next time. And the one, two, three are together on the pits turn and heading into the back straight. It's two, six, five, twenty-nine and eighty-five. Down they go to the turnstile bend again, round past the parking lot. And Ray Tilsley looks as though he's uh, winding his motor up now to get involved in this battle for top spots. He's putting Ian Higgins under pressure, in turn puts Bratzel under pressure, the bumper goes in. But Bratzel's the wily old campaigner and he still holds on to that lead position. Down to that bend again they go, with Higgins still chasing him behind Bratzel. Tilsley next in line. They've gone almost half a lap clear of fourth place, Graham Blundell in 156. They're on the pit turn now, and uh, Higgins, the meat in the sandwich, as Tilsley puts the pressure on from behind in 85. On the back straight, down to the turnstile bend again. Rob Ratzel still a holding lead position, they're through again in the home straight. 
And they've got just three to run this time as Higgins makes the move. He goes for the inside line of that pit turn. Forcing Bradsell out wide and still Bradsell holds on and he's down the back straight in lead position again. But this time Ray Tilsley makes the move and he and Higgins are side by side. Battle of wits going on there as Tilsley takes it very slowly trying to avoid the front bumper of Higgins. They've got a couple to run and now it's Tilsley's turn to try and shift Bradsell. They're on the pit's turn. Into the back straight they go with Bradsell taking the outside line down to the back straight and Tilsley on his back bumper. Down into the turnstile, then they go. And Higgins has a go at Tilsley and the catches a park car. It slows him down, but he's still running in third. The last lap board is out, and Bradsell is still holding on. And Tilsley's getting desperate, and here Higgins is back joining in. Down the back straight for the last time, but it's now nil for Tilsley. He's winding it up, and Bradsell takes it slowly. Higgins pushing as well. They're down into that last bend, and Rob Bradsell's out for them. Into the home straight he comes, and a world is over. Peter Falling. 
Stages. Turnstile bend fence in 9 and 2. 
Now he's up down there with the man with Stuart Wood in 500. Well, Williams tries to climb the fence coming off. Our band is 26 and the leaders go through. It's James Potter in 164 from 558. Peter Casanova and 236. Michael Ives. Potter's gone. He's left it down on the pitch turn. Takes across the infield to rejoin on the back straight. Casanova the leader then in 550 and Potter fighting back and comes back into the lead in 164. Michael Ives second now in 236. Out of shunt down at the end of the home straight and almost over goes uh, Richard Mason in 202 as he climbs up alongside uh, one other car. Now Marshall checking on the situation. Sherwood's got a flat tyre, the 500 car pulls out of the infield. 152, Andy Maynard's also got a flat and he's on the infield. And uh, James Potter is the leader down the back straight in 164. Yeah, Finnegan motoring through in 55. They're getting involved with John Law in 441 at Ian Platt 77. And the leading bunch is now down on the pit stern. Around into the back straight they go. And 55, Bert uh, Finnegan has taken lead position. So it's Finnegan the leader now in 55 from John Lawn in 441. In third is 77 in. Rises fourth in 236 and John Padgett in fifth in 449. In behind them uh, James Potter and then Jay Bean. Potter goes to the fence and Michael Ives is taken out down on the pit stand. Changes in the top five. Top three remain unaltered and it's Finnegan, Lawn and Platt through down the home straight. It will be halfway next time. 3150, Grover retires to the infield. Eddie Roberts gets back on track after being on the infield and on the turnstile bend in number 28. And at the halfway stage, 55, Bert Finnegan leads the way. In second is 441, John Lawn. Third is 77, Ian Platts in fourth place. John Padgett in 449, fifth is 309, Jay Bean, six, two, six, oh, Dave Beresford. Running seventh, there looks to be Russ Humphrey in 113. There aren't too many others still running. And Finnegan completes another lap. There's a battle on for second place with uh, John Lawn having a go there. That's uh, Ian Platts. And we've lost Jane Bean down on the turnstile bend 309. She's lost a bit of ground. She's measuring again now. And Lawn and Platts continue their battle and Platts gets by. They've got five to run next time. And it's 55, Bert Finnegan in lead position. 77 Ian Platts second, but nowhere near clear of John Lawn yet in 441. Cars are coming back onto the uh, home straight. Fifty-five, Bert Finnegan, clear leader from seventy-seven Ian Platts and four-four-one John Lawn. Five, Ian Platt second in 77, John Lawn third in 441. They spin out around the circuit. We're in the closing stage, it's just a couple to run. And Bert Finnegan on his last now from Ian Platt. John Lawn third, Dave Burrisford fourth. And it looks as though the rest might be a lap down on the leader who comes through looking for the checkered and there it is and Bert Finnegan takes it, 55 wins it. John Lawn gets a hefty shunt from Dave Burrisford down that back straight into the turnstile bend, fighting for the minor places. But Lawn holds on to get home in front of Burrisford. Let's please, Miss Data.
the consolation race. And I'll pick the leaders out as they go down to that first turn because I might not be able to pick them out again. It's Jamie Potter in 164 from Jimmy Young in 106 and the 500's Jewelwood. And the action starts immediately down on the turnstile bend. We want to see them getting pushed and shoved around, and there they go, at the end of the back straight, climbing over each other into that turnstile bend. We've got six, seven of them in a heat down there. And more trouble at the end of the back straight. I can see uh, Richard Mason turned around in 202. Want to see them taking avoiding action and certainly shortening the track down on that turnstile bend. Jimmy Young, uh, 106 has passed up down there, 98 left, Spencer's gone, 96 Lindaft has been in trouble down there, 100 on the infield, number 20, 550, Peter Casanova on the infield, a tangle now on the pit end exit, where 123 Mark Armitage, 146 Jim Potter and 449 John Paddett have gone. We've got Richard Dobson and Andy Clark racing down the back straight, infield, they've rejoined now down on the turnstile bend. 413 Matthew Bennett's been out, he's back on track, Andy Clark on to the M3169. And the leader is uh, Jamie Potter and there he is in 164 going through down the home straight. 314 Andy Moltas is in second place, we've got a tangle on the back straight. And uh, James Potter, Jim Potter, 146, gone on the home straight there, clobbered hard by Michael Eyes in 236. Just checking on the situation down on the home straight. And there's uh, Mark Dexter and Matthew Benny come together down the back straight. Andy Maynard's in the heat behind him in 152. 469, Paul Coleman out of the infield. The last time round it was James Potter, 164, from Andy Waltas in 314. And through they go, down to the pit bend, 164 the leader. 414, four, Terry Forster is second. 414, Andy Moltas is third. Here behind them, I'm just looking back, it uh, looks as though it's going uh, to be 78. And uh, Jay Bean, 309 in a heat down on the turnstile, and Rob Galitis has gone as well in 142. And the leader has gone. We've lost Jamie Potter, 164, now on the pit stand. 314, Andy Moltas, the leader. 314, Andy Moltas, the leader. Neil Big and William Yarrow hook up and go to the middle. And here comes the leader into the home side, it's 314, Andy Moltas running first. And that's the halfway stage. And one of the lap scorers up here said, thank goodness for that. 314, Andy Moltas in the lead. Another heap of cars at the end of the back straight with Frankie Raymond, 212 in it. Will Ford's 91 is in it. Driver's burning out of that there. And the yellow's a call for, yellow's a call for. We've got the race jellers out and our race leader is 314 Andy Moltas. We've got a car uh, on fire, I think it's Bill Morris 401. And it's uh, Bill Morris car being attended to. Unauthorised persons off the track, please. Unauthorised persons off the track. We've got a tangle down in front of the uh, commentary box here with from Mark Ruxbury and Bill McGowan have come together. Race leaders Andy Maltas in 314. Uh, uh, having said that, it would appear that Andy Maltas is on the infield and out of the race. Checking down the charts uh, to find who is in lead position. 314 Andy Maltas having uh, sparked up and retired from the race. And the leader would appear to be 
0204 Richard Mason, 202 Richard Mason on back straight. We have the all clear and it's uh, back on you, Miss Carter. Okay. That's it, we go back in and we're back racing. to Richard Mason in lead position then as they come around that turn star bend we'll try and check them through behind him
Dave Johnson has gone. He's on to the infield now to the running for 8-3. out of his car okay after hitting the fence line down the back straight. Down 64 gets with the leader, comes through. In second it's John Hyde in 128 with Bert Finnegan close behind him in third in 55. Next in line it's uh, Les Spencer 98. But down the back straight they go, down around that turnstile bend. And Bert Finnegan uh, getting a bumper treatment there from John Hyde, but it's Kev Smith, the leader, 64. Finnegan second in 55, John Hyde third in 128, and Les Spencer 40, and Higgins 5, third of 4 in 6. John Lund 7, trying to shift that to this barrel out of the way, but it still remains on the home straight. Down Ray Tilsley in trouble there, he's tangled out with, uh, looks like Mark Webster up on the uh, turnstile, then he's taking the rest. The leading group in trouble, except for first and second, 64 and 55. They've gone clear as the rest of the places change. Sorting themselves out on the home straight this time for the minor places. First and second together on the turnstile bend. It's Kev Smith, 64, about Finnick and 55. John Hyde still running third in 1, 2, 8, and Bert Finnick has gone through the lead in 55. And here Higgins 29 has gone now, uh, looks as though it's Spencer Tangle now with him on the turnstile bend. Where Finnegan is the leader in 55, it's halfway next time, it's Kev Smith second 64. And black flag please, we start up at number 29, Ian Higgins. Bits of iron work hanging off the front end of the uh, 29 car, he'll be excluded from the race. Coming off the turnstile then with uh, Higgins goes through and gets the back flag, the back of the leaders. Now we have the 55 Bert Finnegan out front. And there's Finnegan going through. And he's clear from 64, Kev Smith who's in second place. Just looking back further down the line, it's 33, Peter Folding next in line. And then behind them we've got uh, 53, John London, 128, John Hyde. And Finnegan has got a bother there down the back straight. 55 car just uh, juggling with the back marker. But Finnegan still holds that lead position and a long way clear of the field. Second place, it's uh, now uh, 33, Peter Folding, and Finnegan had a ball trouble there off that pit bend. Just crossing a bit of time on the last couple of laps. And a tangle up there, pit bend next to Kev Smith's gone here, Higgins into the fence. John Hyde has spun out of 128, Les Spence has climbed over Kev Smith. Graham Brundle's retired at the M4 156, we lost John Run 53, he's on the M4, and it's 5 to 1 next time. And uh, Bert Finnegan clear the field in number 55. 33, Peter Fielding is in second place. He's lost that medal there. Finnegan go 
Wells into that nice lane where they were Platts was going, the pressure playing off from Tilsley. And Platts coming back to rejoin and Platts Lake is still well clear that trouble in front of him. He knows he's just going to take it easy on and that has been no need for any heroics. And over the home side he comes and the checker goes down and the flicky wins the run final in number 55. Here to he comes over the line second and 43. Looking back down for the uh, rest of them to come through. Looks as though we've got about nine finishers in tonight's grand final. But we just keep them going, please, Miss Dada.
Mark Slack. Decline having a problem. Another couple parked up alongside and 320 in that parking lot. So the little has gone. And getting going again and might still hold on to the lead, 328. <laughs> So, uh, 328, the lead car, clear down the home straight, second now is 164, third is 309, fourth 207 and uh, fifth 91. 328, so doing some pushing and shoving on that turnstile bend, and that's the lead car. In the home straight. 3 to 8 in first place, 164, running second. And 3 to 8 goes to the parking lot, so 164 the leader. One six four in lead position, receiving a bit of attention from the 77. We've got Dave Platt in 77. Well, that's the halfway stage, so into the second half we go. So it's Richard Thornton at the wheel of the 164 car, going through in the lead. Tangled on the home straight, the Coleman car just uh, tangling out with 207 right on the start finish line. My goodness, bumpers flying down there. They started just uh, checking with the uh, drivers involved in that shunt. We look to be okay, we have the all clear and uh, They've got five to run next time, a bit of a flash fire under the 469 car, I think uh, dr driver's coming out. Yeah, we're going yellow, Miss Starter, please, we're going yellow. The fire is continuing to uh, burn under that 469 car, so we've gone yellow. The lead car is 164, lead car 164. Bit of crunching around the circuit as uh, cars... Uh, a 164 just uh,
tries to get back in the action, but he's got a some steering problem. There's the leader, Potter goes down to the uh, hook stern. And Ian Duff down of his car, OK. And uh, being assisted across the infield to safety. Oh, and Potter gets there, down and uh, back straight into the turnstile bend on the pressure from Ian Platts. And uh, Potter all over the place coming off that turnstile bend. He's left the heat behind him, and sort of doing the world of death looks like now. Webster and 43, Peter Foley has taken the lead. And we got one on fire, and the yellows are out, the wage yellows are out. The yellows are out. We've got a fire down there in that tangle. The driver's out of his car, the fire extinguisher's been taken across. And it's the Paul Coleman 469 car that is receiving attention from the fire crew down there on the infield. And uh, it looks as though we're once uh, more fire extinguishers on the job down there. And it looks as though the uh, petrol tank is going. And uh, reds please, we start over. Go in reds.